Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Wake Forest Demon Deacons square up against the Utah Utes. This should be a whale of a game. Hello, basketball fans. We're here at the John M. Huntsman Center. I'm Vern Lundquist here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wolfson. What do you think, Bill? The story here is a matchup at off guard. Hanson is a wonderfully talented shooting guard. He's one of the best athletes in the nation. He loves nothing more than a little send it in in action. Braswell is also a top quality two guard. This guy has such a will to win. He plays the game with joy and he never stops working to improve. They're both ready to go. We'll see which of the two can lead their team to victory. Forest controls the opening tip and will get this one started. The game has just begun and they're already in the minimum. Duncan backs in. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Passes it to the wing. Takes a three. The shot was knocked down by Miller. They now lead by one. Duncan. Perel dishes it to the top of the key. Dumps it to the paint. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Henson inbounds the ball. The Utes were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. Oh, that was not a good look. It wasn't about the defensive pressure either. He just fired it off target. Rutland. Woods catches it outright. That last shot missed from 13. Miller. Backs him down. Led him nicely with the dish, and it's laid in by Hanson. It's a tie ball game. Deflects the pass, and it's scooped up by Caton. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a deep burn. Perfect position right there. A textbook example of how to take the charge. Perel inbounds the ball. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Thanks, Vern. A little while ago, I talked with the Utes coach. He told me that he wants to see plenty of ball movement today so that his perimeter shooters, and they've got some good ones on this team, have the space they need to get open looks and get into a rhythm. The three-point shot is a big weapon for them, and they want to use it. Thank you, Tracy. Pokes free, but it's recovered by number 44. Catches it on the low block. Full net. It's knotted up. Rutland swings it to the right wing. To the stripe. Rutland takes the shot, connects from long range. They're in front, 10 to 7. Hansen inbounds the ball. He's doubled up. Dicey pass. Shoots it. The jumper was buried by number 51. But they're still behind by one.
Perez. Woods has it down low. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. Under nine minutes left in the half. Bounce pass inside. The Utes will retain possession. Allen to make his first stand off the bench. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Hanson leads him with the pass. The Utes turn this one over out of bounds. There's no excuse for throwing the ball away. Empty possessions like that will kill you. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Gets it. Left block. Allen takes it up. Can't get it to go. Johnson has picked up his first foul of the game. Makes the first. He's off on the second. About eight and a half minutes left in the half. Swings it to the wing. Number 51. Passes it to the free throw line. Miller has it out left. Hits it. They now trail by two. Allen inbounds the ball. Dishes out left. Rutland launches one from beyond the arc. Duncan pulls it in. In the key. Got it. And they're up by four. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. Catches it. High post. To the free throw line. From about 19 feet. Oh, net in the shot by Caton. He's got two. Feeds it to the wing. Duncan passes to the elbow. Braswell gets it right wing. That last tray, no good. The Utes, a score here will knot it up. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Duncan grabs the rock. Swing pass, right wing. Braswell connects. And they now go up by five. Number 51 inbounds the ball. About six and a half minutes left in the half. The Wake Forest coach wants to shake things up just a little bit, and this could be an excellent move. The group of kids on the floor play with great chemistry. Gets it right wing. Jackson dishes it to the strike. Baseline. Johnson, open look, right in the bottom of the bucket. They draw to within three.
swings it far side. Woods goes up. The bucket is good, and he'll have a chance for one more. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that'll give him the three-point chance. Number 51 didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ballgame. He can't come away with a three-point play. Under six minutes left in the half. Bounces it to the right wing. Number 44 catches it on the free throw line. Feeds far side. His first shot snatched by Allen. Goolsby. Has it right wing. Braswell passes it back to the wing. Dumps it off. Right wing. Passes it to the free throw line. Rutland. Woods yanks it down inside. The last bucket down low was dropped in. That's how to play this game. Establish position. Grab the offensive board and finish the play. Nicely done. Jackson inbounds the ball. Under five minutes left in the half. It's deflected, but it's retrieved by Jackson. Leads him with the pass. Skips it to the left. Swiped off the boards by Braswell. How about the hustle of the little guys? Pulling it away from the big fellas. Skip pass, cross court. Braswell, bold pass. Gets it left wing. Rutland beats it to the high post. Off target on the last shot by Braswell. Goolsby. It drops. They now have a dozen unanswered points. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Number 44 inbounds the ball. The Utes with some difficulties. Swings it to the left wing. From downtown, gets it to go. He's shooting 66% from downtown. Terrific pass. About three and a half minutes left in the half. Pass outright. Number 44. Caton passes to the left wing. Jackson drops it in from beyond the arc. But they're still down by four. They're set up in minimum. Right side. Perel backs in. That last shot buried from 20. You have to love the way he took it to his man. That's just grit and determination. Miller. Jackson throws it up. Drains the easy jumper. And they're now down by four. Woods inbounds the ball. Duncan has it left side. It falls short. But they're still out in front by four. Dish left wing. Number 44. Nice backcourt pressure to cause the 10-second violation. 
him and that. Those are the kind of plays that get you great quickly. You can't be lackadaisical bringing the ball up the court. Catches it, right wing. Jackson passes it down low. That last shot, good by number 13. What a nice pass. When he got to the bucket, the ball was right there waiting for him. Perfect timing. West inbounds the ball. Wake Forest takes its first time out of the game. On the net. Beats it to the low block. Beautiful work to fight through that foul and get to the line for the three opportunity. Complete the three-point play. Corral gets it right side. Feeds right wing. Duncan. Nice little crossover. On the net, dishes to the right wing. The shot was good by Perot. They push their lead to five. Baseline, passes back to the wing. Number 51, backs down. Passes to the right wing. Duncan has it on the free throw line. Hanson inbounds the ball. Utah has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. The Utes coach is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. What a great setup on that delivery. What a play. Pass to the free throw line. West hands it off. Duncan catches it left wing. Goolsby answers right back with his own three. He's two for two from three point range. Puts it up. That's the half. And we're headed to the locker room with the score 37 to 30. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game, so, Vern, maybe you can do play by play and color. And now it's time to show you our player of the half. Bill Duncan is the guy for me, Vern. Look at this scoring display. He hasn't been afraid to put it on the deck and take it to the tin or pull up from deep and knock down the jumper. A fantastic display. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Hanson inbounds it to start the second half. Right wing. Number 51. Woods dumps it off. Dishes to the right wing. Taken away by number 44. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Number 44 has it on the strike. Dish baseline. Caton. Mm -hmm. 
Only a few seconds left on the shot clock. Sizing up his man. Number 51 with the shot. Hit it just as the shot clock was winding down. He's two for five for the game. Perel inbounds the ball. Gets it on the free throw line. Rutland tosses it up. Pulls on. He's shooting 50% for the game. Caton passes it to the free throw line. Left wing from deep. Sunk by Miller. 14 points and he is the leading scorer. The Demon Deacons are clinging to a small lead. Lobs it to the middle. Duncan, the shot down low. Gets whistled for a foul and hits it despite the hack. Great strong finish. And he'll go to the line for one more. Convert the three-point play. Fouled hard there. He'll get two free throws. He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hit. Can't sink the first. Number 44 will head to the bench. He sinks the second. Johnson inbounds the ball. Number 51 kicks it out to the wing. They're going to double team him. Caton has it top of the key. Bounce pass, left wing from deep. Can by Hansel. He's got five. Under 10 minutes left in the second half. It looks like they're playing man to Hillel. Gets it on the strike. Caton dishes it to the right. High post. Swings it to the wing. They're bringing the double team. Miller. All net. They narrow the gap to two. Perel inbounds the ball. Rutland brings it up. Beats it to the wing. Woods catches it on the strike. Skip pass. Corner. Braswell drills the long three. They're in front, 45 to 40. Hanson. Caton passes to the wing. Miller for three. Gets it to go. He's shooting 83% from deep. The Demon Deacons have been lights out from beyond the arc. Takes it up. The finger roll was laid in by Peral. And they're up by four. Number 51 inbounds the ball. Left wing. Dishes it to the high post. Rutland gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul of the game. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach.
Henson. Passes to the low block. Under eight minutes left in the second half. Goolsby catches it, right wing. That last shot netted for three. Why use the whole shot clock when you only need a few seconds, right? Number 13 hands it off. Passes to the stripe. Number 13 from close range. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Two. Knocks down the first one. And he splits the free throws. With the floater, the layup was finished by Jackson. But they still trail by two. Just over seven minutes left in the second half. Goolsby. Has it on the free throw line. Rutland takes the shot. Drains the open jumper. They're now out in front by four. Johnson inbounds the ball. Caton swings it to the right wing. To the stripe. Tosses it up. The three was drained by Jackson. They're now behind by one. They're going to apply some pressure here and with full court. Minute. Man, man. Goolsby with the shot, answers right back with his own three. They increase their lead to four. Beats it to the wing. Number 13. Johnson has it baseline. Feeds, corner, unloads. The triple was off the mark by Hanson. The Demon Deacons have been lights out from beyond the arc. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Duncan backs in, catches it, right block. Goolsby fires the three. Count it. 15 points, and he's the top scorer for his team. Both teams are making substitutions. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Left side. Number 51 backs down. Total breakdown on defense. The outcome could easily be determined by who has the ball last. You know, as much as this crowd is into it, it makes both coaches nuts. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. Dishes it to the elbow. Braswell. Perez shoots it up. Good look by Goolsby. He's four for four for the game. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Number 13 gets it right wing. Passes to the free throw line. Miller fires. The 15-footer, no good by number 51. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Catches it, right corner. It's blocked. Perel, baseline jumper. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Last basket on the mark by number 13. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Substitution.
baseline. Passes to the top of the key. Braswell. From way downtown, cans the shot. He's three for four from deep. Number 51 inbounds the ball. Utah calls time. Both teams will make some substitutions. Wake Forest wants more experience out on the floor, and they're bringing on the senior. Jackson gets it right wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. Under four minutes left in the second half. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Backs down. Here comes the double team. Pass to the elbow. Duncan. Baseline. Fires from the wing. Nearly had a chance for a three-point play, but he'll go to the line for two. Knocks down the first one. Johnson is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Gets the second to fall as well. Jackson got a quick reader, but they need him back on the floor. Woods inbounds the ball. Just over three minutes left in the second half. Rutland goes up. Number 44 grabs it, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Miller hits the jumper. He's shooting 88% for the game. 2.44 left in the game. Leads him in. Shoots from the post. Grab by number 44. Still a six point lead. Skips it to the right wing. Miller has it on the corner. Passes top of the key. Jackson catches it right wing Miller the three won't fall he'll make that one most of the time but the D got a break on that one Rutman beats it to the right wing to the free throw line kicks it out to the wing Braswell pulls the trigger hits it from three point land He's got 12. Jackson inbounds the ball. The Utes will take a timeout. They're behind by nine. 146 left in the game. Johnson. Number 44 gets it right wing. Pass, right wing. Caton. Gets it, right wing. Number 44, bounces it to the stripe. Right wing, passes it back to the wing. Number 51, throws it out. Number 51, snatches the offensive rebound. Big time rejection. It seems like nothing can destroy this guy, but he will destroy you in a heartbeat. Nice move. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled and gets a trip to the line. Sinks the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits.
can't connect on number two. Collected inside by number 44. The break is on. Jackson goes up. Fasten your seatbelt. Here's the State Farm drive of the game. That's a go-to guy right there, partner. Pirel inbounds the ball. The Demon Deacons look like they have this one wrapped up. To the bucket. Got the bucket and the foul. They'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Terrific work to absorb the contact, hang in the air, and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. Packs on the free throw for the three-point play. Hayden behind the arc, gets the bucket. That's a great shot. His man didn't give him much room, though, but he was still able to knock it down. The Demon Deacons should slow it down and use some clock. The foul stops the clock, which is just what the doctor ordered. And that's why they did it. Time is not on their side. Very smart play. Pirel inbounds the ball. Caton has picked up his first foul of the game. I can appreciate their willingness to keep battling, Vern, but I think it's too late to save the game. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. Miller commits the foul. They're in the bonus here, so that'll be a one and one at the line. Johnson is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Gets the first. That will give them a nine-point lead. He gets them both. Johnson is back in the game after a short rest. Number 51 inbounds the ball. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Shoots. Nice job on the assist by Caton. The Demon Deacons have this game pretty much in the bag. Caton gets whistled for a foul, and they're in the bonus, and they'll go to the line for a one-and-one. One. Substitution on the floor. Off on the first. Miller has it out left. Duncan snatches the rebound. 15 seconds left in the game. Number 51 gets whistled for a foul, and they're in the penalty, so we'll head to the line for a one and one. Johnson didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Gets the first. That will give them a nine-point lead. He gets them both. Johnson is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Gorgeous pass. Number 51, double clutches, finishes with the soft touch. That's how to finish the hoop firm. Take it up strong. Miller commits the foul. We're in the double bonus, so they'll go to the line for two shots. I think it's a little too late for this firm. They're just prolonging the agony by fouling because this game's out of reach. Off 
target on the first. Jackson got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Sinks the second end. That will give them a nine-point lead. Number 44 inbounds the ball. Fires the three. That'll do it. The Demon Deacons defeat Utah 77 to 68. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Hi, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're going to bring you our Pontiac game-changing performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Wake Forest Demon Deacon used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.